Hello, my name is Darcy and this is my channel, Fostering Cats. One of the most frequently asked questions I get on my Facebook page, Ringworm Cats and Kittens, is does my cat have ringworm? Unfortunately, it's impossible to diagnose ringworm from a photo examination of a cat under natural light alone. But I can give you some of the factors that make ringworm more likely. However, before I get too far into this, let me give my disclaimer. I'm not a veterinarian. This is not veterinary advice, nor can I replace it. Ringworm is rarely found in healthy cats. These cats usually have other health issues going on that need to be addressed by a veterinarian. Failure to address them not only risks the life of the cat, but will make ringworm harder to treat. As to my expertise, I have fostered hundreds of cats and kittens with ringworm and seen and handled hundreds more at various shelters. I also keep up to date on all the current research done on cats with ringworm and always use that to guide my practices. But when in doubt, I encourage you to follow the research done by Dr. Karen Moriello. She spent her life researching feline ringworm. Links to several of her articles are in the description. The best way to tell if a cat has ringworm is to do one of three things. A woods lamp or black light exam, examining the hairs under a microscope, or doing a fungal culture. I plan on going into more about these in future videos. If you're wondering why I didn't mention the PCR exam, well, according to a 2017 study, false positive results with PCR tests are relatively common. It can be used to confirm a diagnosis, but considered unreliable for identifying mycological cure. It's also more expensive than a regular culture, and using the other three methods are good enough to get an accurate diagnosis. It's unnecessary and an added expense. But what if these are not available to you? Let's review factors that make hair loss more likely to be ringworm. First, is the cat under six months? Hair loss in kittens under six months of age is usually ringworm. In fact, studies have shown kittens under six months of age are eight times more likely to get ringworm than adults. Hair loss in adults is usually allergies. Next, is there a history of fleas, ear mites, or allergies? Scratching and insect bites cause microabrasions on the skin. Ringworm spores require microabrasions to infect its host. In fact, there have been studies that where without microabrasions, a cat did not get ringworm. Fleas have also been known to culture positive for ringworm. This means they have ringworm spores on them. It's not conclusive if fleas alone can spread ringworm, but regardless, you need to get the fleas in check before you can make headway in treating ringworm. Shaving also causes microabrasion, which is why you should not shave a cat with ringworm unless directed by a veterinarian. Microabrasions can also be caused by other things such as scruffing with a glove. Next, does the cat have a compromised immune system? As I stated earlier, ringworm requires microabrasions, but it also needs the host's immune system to not fight it off, which is uh, why you might see a litter of kittens with ringworm, but the mother cat is not infected, or some of the kittens are infected. Remember, all kittens have compromised immune system, which is partly why they're more likely to get ringworm. However, FELV and FIV are not risk factors, nor is the use of immunosuppressive agents for the treatment of immune-mediated diseases. Stress, however, is an issue because stress weakens the immune system, which is partly why cats in shelters are more at risk to getting ringworm. Next, is the hair loss on the face, leg, or tails? It is more common for ringworm to be found in these areas than others. The ringworm pattern is likely to follow the cause of the microdrama. Ringworm is also more likely to start on the face and then move to the paws. Next, is the cat itching excessively? Most people think that because ringworm is itchy on humans, that it's itchy on felines. But in my experience, ringworm is not itchy for cats. When you see cats itching excessively, it's usually fleas, ear mites, or allergies. Of course, these things make a cat more likely to get ringworm, and you need to get the itching under control, otherwise the cat is going to keep getting microabrasions, and the ringworm will continue to spread. Next, do you see spots of complete hair loss? Technically, ringworm causes hair to break, not fall out, but this breakage happens over a, a spot. Thinning or patching hair is usually not ringworm. Glowing hairs without hair loss is not ringworm. Also, you won't see spots of redness or scabbing with ringworm. So these pictures here are of the same cat with different causes of hair loss. This is my cat, Minx. The first picture was while she was at the shelter. She had been misdiagnosed with ringworm, and I took a picture of her ear to show the vet. As you can see, the hair loss is kind of patchy, um, and you see a little bit of complete hair loss at the tip. 
but there was no glow uh, if you looked at it under black light. She actually had ear mites with a severe allergy to these ear mites. Now, I t see this kind of hair loss on the ears a lot with ear mites. In fact, I just had a litter of kittens with ringworm and noticed the same hair loss on their ears. And when I looked, they had severe cases of ear mites. Ironically, the shelter that had them had been having difficulty getting them clear to the ringworm. Once they got the ear mites in check, the ringworm was easier to get rid of. Now, the picture on the right is also of Minx after she got ringworm. Minx is one of the few kittens who got ringworm in my house. I had taken her home as a foster while she was still having issues with allergies and ear mites. And uh, she snuck into my foster room, which happened to have a litter of kittens with ringworm. So she had a combination of having micro abrasions plus direct contact with cats with ringworm. And so she got ringworm. But you can see uh, the picture on the, uh, on the right is a very different type of hair loss. You see the round oval lesion. And if you look closely at the tip, there's a little patch of uh, ringworm there. Um, and you might not see it, but if you look at these pictures, which are again of minx, um, one and the picture on the right is under black light, you can see additional areas on the ear with the ringworm that you might not have noticed under the naked eye, which is why I said at the beginning, you really can't tell if it's ringworm looking at it under natural light. And finally, after all this, what you need to ask yourself is, if it's not ringworm, then what is it? Hair loss can be caused by multiple things, uh, including allergies, skin infections, excessive licking and grooming. It's always better if you can't figure out a cause to assume ringworm and treat full body topically while waiting to get a culture back or see the vet. And what does full body topical mean? Uh, lime sulfur dip or microsub shampoo. These things are not gonna harm a healthy cat if you do them. Lime sulfur dip, which is my go-to treatment, will not harm a healthy cat or kitten. It might harm your sense of smell, but it's not gonna hurt the cat. Thank you for watching my video. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing as I plan on doing more videos on ringworm and other cat fostering related topics. If there's a specific ringworm topic you'd like me to cover, please put it in the comments. If you have any questions or want to reach me, the best place is to go to my Facebook group, Ringworm Cats Again. Otherwise, have a good day.